I pray to y'all that one day my people see them chariots Spreading the word in them streets for my people not hearing us I pray that we make it through the fire This word gon' take us higher, yes I know I pray to y'all that one day my people see them chariots Spreading the word in them streets for my people not hearing us Independence in America, but they don't teach that in the history books they don't teach that because why? They're scared of another revolution. We are headed for a re revolution, but what side are you gonna be on? What side are you gonna be on? Are you gonna be he helping a blush fight? Don't you know when, when Aristide went to France to ask for reparation, that's why they got rid of him? Haiti would not be in the condition financially if, 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 if France gave them the money. So how could you be sorry for these people? They are the reason why Haiti is in a, the economic condition they are today. That's why Destiny said, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We gotta come back to that mindset. Okay? We gotta come back to that mindset. That's right. That's why I'm Read, read that. Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7. My friend, give me my love. Give me my love. Read it. Oh, yeah. Give my love. Wait. Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7. Wait. For the priest's lips. For what? For the priest's lips. For the priest's lips. Come on. Should keep knowledge. Should do what? Should keep knowledge. Should keep. Monsieur. Hold on. The first black. You see, you scared a guy away. No, that's. But why are you scared him away? First black. Okay. You got the independence. Okay. Okay. Sure. Merci beaucoup. Okay. Merci beaucoup. Okay. Bon journée. Bon journée. Read that again. Madame. Malachi. Fais ma loi. Fais ma loi. Où est la Bolivie? Le Pérou? Il parle en anglais? Non, non. Creole? Piti, piti. You believe in the Bible? Huh? What color is Christ? What color is the, the Messiah? Huh? You pulling? So he fit, he put your strap? Okay, mercy. <laughs> Read that. Okay, Malachi chapter two and verse seven. Right? For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. For what? For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. For the priest's lips shall keep knowledge. What about you, sis? You believe in the Bible? Give me one minute. Of course. Shalom, shalom. What's your nationality? What? Do, what? Do, what do you think about this whole thing with Kyrie and Kanye just, you know, about anti-Semitic? What do you think about that? I don't keep up with celebrities. You celebrity? I don't keep up with celebrities. You don't keep up with celebrities. What about, do you keep up with the Bible? Yeah. What color is Christ according to the Bible? And what my mama taught me. What does she teach you? Man of my color. All right. Do you teach your children that? Of course. They go to church. They go to church. But they don't teach that in church. They do. Sunday school. So they teach them that Christ is black? They teach you about what he looked like and everything. And your Sunday school. Where is that Sunday school at? Because I want to go there. Southgate. Southgate? Yeah. So now, so give me Hebrews 7 and 14. So now, so Christ is a, a man of... I'm not sitting outside having an argument. No, we're not arguing. It's an edification. It's a dialogue. I'm glad that you know the truth. Because the truth shall what? Make you free. That's right. Right? So not a lot of our people understand the truth according to the Bible. So we are living in a, a real time of, of um, information overload, huh? You can, you can keep that, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, just don't lose it, very important. Read that, what you got? Huh? 7 and 14. 7 and 14. So what was Christ's nationality? What was he? Ethnicity. You don't know? Read that. Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. Come on. For it is evident. For it is what? For it is evident. For it is evident. Evident means what? It's a fact. It's crystal clear beyond a shadow of a doubt. Come on. That our Lord sprang out of Judah. Christ came out of the tribe of Judah. So he was a Jew. So now this whole thing, have you, what does the word anti-Semitic mean? You don't know. So have you heard what they're saying about Kanye or, or that they say he's anti-Semitic? You never heard about, you never heard, have you seen the news? Or, you're not on social media? Okay, well, that could be a good and a bad thing. But now, they are labeling him saying he's anti-Semitic because he came out and said that uh, the blacks are the Jews. Right? So if I ask you right now, what's your nationality, your identity, what would you tell me? My nationality? Right. I'm a one thing. I'm a mixed race. You're a mixed race? Yeah. Who was your father? My father is Panamanian. 
He's what? Panamanian and Asian. And Asian. Okay. So now, the understanding of people's identity was given to by the so-called white man. Right? According to the Bible, we determine your true identity by the lineage of your father, by the seed of your father. So somebody might say, well, I'm a mixed race because my mother was this, my father was that, but you are of your father, according to the Bible. Okay? So these are the understanding that we're trying to understand because now we are giving our people understanding of who they are because now if you don't know your past, how are you going to know your future? If you don't know where you came from, how are you going to know where you're going? Right? So we just read out of the Bible that what? Christ came out of the tribe of Judah. Right? He's a, he's a Jew, according to the Bible. So now us being Jews, according to the Bible, is no way that we can be uh, called or considered anti-Semitic. That's right. Because we would be against our own selves. Right? So we're trying to educate our people to let them know that they got to come back to law, set the commandments of the Most High in these last days. Right. Right? So we can teach our children, and then they teach their children's children. Okay? So we can have this, this truth flying out. Now, what is the what is the definition of the truth according to the Bible? Give me the truth. Because some people say that there's incense. Frankincense and myrrh. That's that's the God, that's his favorite smell. He loves the smell of the frankincense and myrrh, that fragrance. Okay, he don't like Calvin Klein, he don't like Juicy Couture, he likes frankincense and myrrh. Right. Right? He's very precise. He's very particular. Right? You got that for me? Um, the truth I'll set you free. Right. No. Give me the truth. Psalms 119, 142. Psalms 119, 142. You gonna leave after this one? Alright. That's no problem. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 142. Come on. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. And what? And thy law is the truth. So the law, statute, commandments of the Most High, that's the truth according to the Bible. Okay, are you familiar with Farrakhan? No? You never heard of Farrakhan? Wow, how old are you? Why don't I ask? You're not supposed to ask a lady that. Why not? So can you ask a man? Can you, can you ask a man? Can you ask a man his age? You can if you want to. So why is it rude to ask a woman age? In my life, where that don't come ask from? That. <laughs> you don't ask a woman. That's considered. It's considered rude to ask her age. So when you go to if you go to court or anything like that, I'm you, court. you don't go to court. No. Never been in trouble. Never been in trouble. You have to work. Stay on this. That's awesome. Yep. <laughs> you have to give her a hand. She just stay home. Give her a hand. Listen, since you are Hebrew is not according to the Bible, okay? okay. That's right. But I, you don't you don't want to ask you don't want to answer about your age. But I can see the things you're saying. You know, maybe young, and the Bible is a truth book. Okay, it's a historical book. It's a prophetic book. It gives us an understanding of who we are. Okay, so now we've been taught the Bible from our person, but now we need to get taught the Bible the truth the way it's supposed to be taught. Okay, so you're an Israelite, according to the Bible. Teach your children. Christ was a so-called black man, he was a Jew. Because the truth shall set you free. Read that again. Psalms 119 and verse 142. All right, thy so righteousness, the Holy, have a blessed evening. Read. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Come on. And thy law is the truth. And what? And thy law is the truth. And thy law is the truth. So the laws are the commandments. So if your pastors teach you that the laws are done away with, you're not living in the truth. Give me Isaiah um, 34 and 16. Isaiah 34 verse 16. This is the book of Isaiah. Chapter 34 and verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Most High and read. Do what? Seek ye out of the book of the Most High and read. Right. So seek ye out of the book of the Most High. What's the book of the Most High? It's the Bible. Best instruction before leaving earth. Right. Right. So I have here, this is the final call. This is July 6, 2010. Right. 
This is Farrakhan, he said a naked truth. Farrakhan offers his life if you can't prove what he said is wrong. The title on top it says what? Who are the real children of Israel? Right? When you turn it around it says blacks are the true children of Israel. Right? Whenever you hear Farrakhan, he'll quote, he'll quote from the Bible. You never hear him quote anything from the Quran. Right? So he's saying here in his final call, 2010, this is before Kanye, before Kyrie, that the blacks are the real Jews according to the Bible. So why is he teaching about Islam? Okay, why is he telling blacks that they're Muslims? When he knows for himself that we are the real Jews and Israelites according to the Bible, according to the Torah. Let me go a little further. This is the New York, the New York Times. This is dated May, what's the date on that? May 18th? May 8th, May 15th, 1948. Right, get, a, get a shot on that on the camera. Right? Just so you think we're not making something up. What's the date again? May 15th, 1948. So May 15th, 1948, Zionists proclaim new state of Israel. Truman recognizes it and hopes for peace. Tel Aviv is bombed, Egypt orders invasion. So these people that call themselves Jews did not occupy the land until 1948. Okay, so there were people there before they got there. Give me Revelation 2 verse now. Let's see what the Bible says. It's the book of Revelations, chapter 2 and verse 9. Come on. I know thy works. What? I know thy works. So Moses said, I know the works of the real Jews. Come on. And tribulation. And what? And tribulation. Are we not in tribulation? The so-called black man, black woman, Hispanic man, Hispanic woman. Come on. And poverty. And what? And poverty. And poverty, come on. But thou art rich. But what? But thou art rich. So how in one sense we're in poverty and the next we're rich? How we're rich that the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of the most high God, the God of who? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob belongs to us. We got next, right? Read. And I know the blasphemy. And what? And I know the blasphemy. The Bible says, and I know the blasphemy, come of them of who of them of what of them of them in particular people come on which say they are jews which what which say they are jews which say they are jews come on and are not and what and are not but who are they but are the synagogue of satan the bible says that they are the synagogue of Satan. what about you brother my friend you believe in the bible give me one minute you believe in the bible you're busy our people are always busy when it comes to the bible Oh, don't put that on God. Don't put what? I'm talking to him. Okay, what did he say? They're trying to get her number. Okay, read, read it again. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. Come on. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Come on. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. And what? And are not. So the Bible says they are not the Jews. Come on. But are the synagogue of Satan. They are the synagogue, the chief house of Satan. Give me Revelation 3 verse 9. So what you're going to find out is you've been lied to by your pastor, by your preacher. That we are living in the last days according to Bible prophecy. It's time for our people to come back to the Lord and the commandments of the Most High God. The God of who? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob.